Josh, what does a heat pump run on? Electricity. And what do solar panels generate? Also electricity. So surely you can power a heat pump with solar panels. Let's find out. I am Charlie. I'm Josh. And we are Sunsave. We offer the UK's first solar subscription. More on that later in the video. Today we'll be answering the question that's been on people's minds for a while. Can you power a heat pump with solar panels? And if you can, is it feasible, is it expensive and is it worth it? We're going to be dealing with a barrage of questions today. Enough dilly-dallying. Josh, can you power a heat pump with solar panels? As we teased in the intro, yes you sure can. Heat pumps need electricity and they aren't particularly choosy about where it comes from. If a solar panel has electricity on offer, a heat pump will take it, no complaints. This all sounds very green indeed. Where can I get one of these solar heat pumps? I'll stop you right there. Stop. A solar heat pump isn't really a thing. This isn't like EV charging where you have a normal charger and a solar charger. You don't have any heat pumps that are specifically designed for just solar generated electricity. The phrase you're looking for is heat pump. My mistake, I'm so sorry. You should be. Hit the like button. So how do heat pumps and solar panels work together then? Well, like a gas boiler, your heat pump will stay on at all times, but it'll only it will only run when it's needed. So once your thermostat senses that the temperature's dropped? Yes, exactly. And when it is needed, it will start using electricity. And is that when solar panels come in handy? Sort of. Your solar panels will produce electricity in the daytime, and that will go through your inverter and into your house, but there's no one appliance that gets priority over the other appliances. So, it might go to your heat pump, but the electricity might also go to your light bulbs, your washing machine, your tumble dryer, any of the appliances in your home. So everything's just trying to get a piece of the solar pie? Yes, it's like one big mass brawl over the solar pie. And what if there isn't enough solar pie to go around? Well, then you'll be getting some delicious grid pie. You mean importing electricity from the grid? Yes, exactly. And when I'm using my heat pump at night time, once my solar panels have gone to sleep, can I use a battery to power my heat pump? You absolutely can, yeah. So if your battery fills up on electricity during the day, it will power your heat pump if your heat pump comes on at night with whatever's left in the battery. Although your heat pump may still need some electricity from the grid. The grid pie. Yes, love that grid pie. I think I've noticed something a little mismatched about all of this, Josh. Oh dear. So in the summer, your solar panels are very busy. They tend to produce around 40% of their total annual output on average. Yes. That's when you normally don't have the heating on. That is correct. In the winter, your solar panels are a bit less busy because of the weather. They tend to produce about 11% of their total annual output, but that is normally when people do have the heating on. That is absolutely right. So is this all one big con then? Have you been lying to me? No, you're right to feel angry, but please let me explain. Firstly, when people talk about heat pumps being solar powered, they're not really saying that a heat pump is 100% solar powered. In the case of heat pumps, you should really think about it in the way that you are offsetting the electricity that you get from the grid with solar panels. Okay. And also don't forget that a heat pump isn't just there to provide you with central heating. It also provides you with hot water, like for showers and baths. And you have those all year round, I hope. <sighs> uh, and that means that a heat pump will run in summer as well. Well, Josh, you brought me crashing down to earth. I understand I can't fully power a heat pump with solar panels, but I know that solar panels can help. By Jove, I think you've got it. If I wanted to get a solar panel system to cover a household's electricity needs, but also support a heat pump, <laughs> what size system would you be recommending? Well, unfortunately, there's no exact number that I can give you because there are factors like your location, how much electricity you use, and what direction your roof faces that are really important for me to know before I can answer that. But Josh, let's say I really need a number, just a rough number as an indication for the viewers at home. Well, the average UK household uses 3,400 kilowatt hours per year. Chuck a heat pump into the mix, what are we on now? Well, that would add another 3,200 kilowatt hours of electricity per year. So you'd be left with 6,600 kilowatt hours of electricity consumption that you somehow need to fuel. Well, that sounds big. How many solar panels do I need then? Well, let's say for a start that you're dealing with average UK solar irradiance. So I would be in Dunsop Bridge, a village in Lancashire, which is the geographic centre point of the British Isles, according to the Ordnance Survey. Uh, yes, very good. So to generate more than you need, and what you need is 6,600 kilowatt hours per year, 
you would need 19 430 watt panels and in total that makes an 8.2 kilowatt peak system. Thank you Josh for the specifics, but even with this chunky system would I still need to import grid electricity during the winter? Yes indeed. To power a heat pump with solar panels all year round, you would need a system of pretty epically enormous proportions. Most people don't have a roof that big. Uh, you would need a system that big because you'd need to power your heat pump on those short winter days. Mm. Uh, so as well as needing a ridiculously big roof, you would also need a vast storage system, a storage battery, to hold all of that electricity for your heat pump. Sounds bonkers. Josh, let's pretend I own a home. I've got a heat pump. I've got solar panels. I'm taking my summer showers with a clean green conscience. Has all of this cost me an arm and a leg? Well, traditionally, heat pumps and solar panels are very expensive, but fortunately, there's currently a solution to both. So for heat pumps, the UK government has launched the Boiler Upgrade Scheme, which can take 7,500 pounds off the cost of a heat pump, which oftentimes means you'll pay nothing. Crikey, and what about solar? Well, we have a, a solution to eliminate the upfront cost entirely. I think it's time we talked about Sunsafe it's Plus. It's high time. It's high time. Sunsafe Plus is the UK's first solar subscription and it is designed to unlock solar for millions of households in the UK. With Sunsafe Plus, you can switch to solar with no upfront cost. All you have to do is pay a fixed monthly fee for 20 years. And it does stay absolutely fixed. No sneaky price rises, so you are fully protected against inflation from energy bills. You will immediately start saving on your energy bills and you will also earn income for exporting excess electricity to the grid. And these combined savings could exceed your monthly payment to Sunsave, which means you actually earn money each year despite paying a subscription. This means you don't have to wait years for payback, which is what most people have to do when they buy solar upfront. Your best in class solar and battery system will also be protected by the Sunsave guarantee which provides total peace of mind that your system will produce clean green electricity for the duration of your subscription without you having to raise a finger. The Sunset Guarantee includes free replacement parts, including a battery and inverter, 24 seven monitoring and maintenance, comprehensive insurance provided by Aviva and downtime cover. Sunset Plus is built to be flexible, so you're in charge of your subscription. Therefore, you can make a full or partial early repayment at any point without incurring any fees, charges or penalties. You also legally own your system from day one, which means that you will earn 100% of the export income. We don't take a cut. Sunsafe Plus also doesn't require a roof lease or airspace lease, which have historically caused problems with mortgage providers in the past. To learn more about Sunsafe Plus, head to our website, sunsafe.energy. There you can read way more about our subscription, watch interviews with people who already have it and sign up yourself. Right, back to being slightly less excitable. Oh yes. Solar panels and heat pumps clearly work in harmony together, but do they work in harmony with my wallet? <laughs> How much would it cost me to power a heat pump with solar panels? Well, a heat pump will need 3,200 kilowatt hours of electricity per year on average. And going by the current price cap, which as of where we are in November 2024 is 24.5p per kilowatt hour, that would give you a total of £784 per year. Damn, so £784 per year on top of normal electricity costs at home. Yes. So how much do solar panels reduce a heat pump's running cost then? Well, we assume that you'll export about a third of the electricity that your solar panels generate, and the remaining two thirds will be split evenly between your household and the heat pump. Sounds reasonable. Thank you. That means that eventually you'll end up with paying £220 per year to run your heat pump. That is a massive £564 reduction, or 72%. Wowzers trousers. Although, of course, this is just a rough indication, the actual percentage that you'll save on your heating bills will depend on a multitude of factors, including how much electricity your solar panels generate, how much electricity your heat pump needs, what the current price cap is, what you're paying for your electricity, what export tariff you're on, and so on and so on. Just a few factors then. Yeah. Josh, as Kermit the Frog famously sang, it ain't easy being green but does having solar panels and a heat pump at least make things a tiny bit easier? Quite a lot easier, actually. If we make the same assumptions about you exporting one third of the electricity your panels generate to the grid and splitting the other two thirds evenly between your home and your heat pump, you can actually cut your carbon footprint by a whopping 88%. Barely a footprint left. Yes, probably just a couple of toes remaining. 
The average UK household emits 3.5 tonnes of CO2 per year. With a heat pump and solar panels, you can cut that down by 3.1 tonnes per year. That's brilliant. You have probably moved away from using a gas boiler, which is much worse for the planet than just grid electricity. And when you'll be using your solar panels, you'll be funneling clean green electricity into your heat pump, which sweetens the deal. Lovely stuff. If you want to know more about our calculations and about the best import and export tariffs for solar panels and a heat pump, just check out our page on the subject. We'll put it down below. Turns out heat pumps and solar panels do work together. If you like the idea of solar, but you're put off by the high upfront cost, think about Sunsafe Plus. You can sign up on our website. The link is in the video description. And if you want lots of mega detailed articles about solar panels, you can head to our advice hub on our website. And if you want more videos about solar, please do subscribe to our channel. Goodbye. Goodbye.